Hello. Dzień dobry. From Sendomir's Poland, and today we're going to be filming the Q&A, so it's also freezing cold right now, so just bear with us. Okay, so the first question, what's your favorite place in Warsaw? Favorite place in Warsaw? Definitely the stadium, for sure. Stadium. National stadium. National stadium. Yeah. PGE Narodowy. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Another part of the question, what is your favorite restaurant slash food? I think the person means Warsaw still, or in general, you can give two answers. Just any pierogies. I don't have a favorite restaurant. Uh, another person is asking, what are you doing in Warsaw? Just exploring. Right? Is that all you're doing? I don't know. Yeah, exploring. We were basically exploring the um, National Stadium. Uh -huh. We went to the top of Palace of Culture and Science. So it's just sightseeing, tourist stuff. Sightseeing. Another question, what's your favorite thing about Warsaw? I would say Warsaw in general, but in the night. I think, I don't know, the city just pops. It, it, do you think that's true? I do. I feel like Warsaw doesn't really pop during the day, but at night it's just, it's beautiful and it's cool to see all the lights and stuff. We actually went up into the uh, the Palace of Culture and Science. We went up into the tower and I've, I've never done that. I didn't even know you could do that and it was awesome. It was definitely really cool to see and if you're going to Warsaw, I highly recommend to do it because it was awesome. It was awesome to get that view. But just past, I would say, 5, 6 p.m. when it's really dark. So then, as he said, Warsaw just looks more interesting. With yeah. All the sky skyscrapers and yeah, all the lights, all the lights. And buildings and stuff. It looks there awesome. There's this cool vibe that yeah. I guess everyone expects when when they go to um, a big city, so. big city yeah. like capital city, especially. Do you want to live in Poland forever? Um. Yeah, I'd imagine. I'd imagine so. Yeah. Could you please compare and contrast Christmas time in Poland and America? Oh, that's by Charlie, right? Yep. He's just curious to know the difference between the foods that are served, the Christmas decorations in Poland, both in homes and at businesses, how geeked up people in Poland are at Christmas time and the Christmas vibe. So, Poles in Poland in general. So, Christmas here, they have three days of Christmas the 24th, 25th, and 26th, whereas in the States, it's really just the 25th, and the 24th is just Christmas Eve. But I think the 24th is more important than the 25th here. I mean, maybe not important. I think people are just so impatient to start uh -huh. celebrations that Christmas Eve is actually like the first day of celebrations. So yeah. I, I don't know, I would say at least in my family, Christmas Eve is kind of more celebrated. Now is that all of Poland? I don't know, just you'd have to ask your subscribers. Because you know, I'm just speaking on behalf of my family. Okay, so it's really a complex answer because it's really just based on my experiences and where I've been in Poland around Christmas. Let's start with food. So in the States, I'm used to having a Thanksgiving type of dinner. I'm used to having, you know, turkey, ham, mashed potatoes, stuffing, like kind of a Thanksgiving type of meal. And here, I don't know if this is just her family or a region or what, but her family eats a lot of fish during Christmas. So like for instance, we ha and it's a lot of cold fish as well, which I was not used to. I don't know, we, should, we had a lot of fish. I don't know how to say it. So then on the 25th, we had turkey, we had ham. I can actually, I took a video of it on the 25th of what we ate, so I can show that here. Also here, there isn't a whole lot of beer drinking on Christmas. I don't know if that's just her family or not, but but there's lots of vodka, so I probably had uh, around 10 shots of vodka on the 25th. But another thing that surprised me is I wasn't even getting drunk off of vodka. It was really weird. Like, I'll get really drunk off beer, but drinking vodka, I just, I don't get drunk. So, what else? I feel like I'm rambling now. I don't know, the food can be completely different, I think, from family to family here, but, um, but that's really what I had. So as for decorations, it's actually mostly the same as in the States. You know, people put Christmas lights up around their house. They, you know, the traditional tree and ornaments, all of that, and some small decorations around the house. That's still common here as well. So actually another thing that I wanted to mention that uh, gift giving is a lot different here in Poland than in the States. In the States, I feel like kids get so much stuff you know like xboxes skateboards clothes all of this stuff so here in poland i feel like it's really just limited gifts it's not really just tons of gifts and you know i it's it's mainly 
I guess it's the different cultures. It's less materialistic here, which is something that I really enjoy. Instead, you're spending more time with family. I can only speak on the family that I was with here. So, so yeah, just something else that I noticed. Another question. How do you learn Polish? Only from your girlfriend or do you attend any Polish classes? Do you often use a dictionary? So I've made a couple videos now on how I've taught myself an okay amount of Polish and you can watch them in the previous videos, but mainly using Quizlet, italki, and Supermemo, all of those have helped me and you can watch them in the previous video I did on the three methods that I use to learn Polish. What is your biggest dream? Biggest dream? Right now, it's definitely paying off my debt, moving abroad, and then being able to make enough money to sustain myself and live happily and travel. The next question. What do you like slash love in Poland? And what makes that you want to be here? Like slash love, um, number one, I love to be here in Poland because my girlfriend's here, she's from here. Number two is that everything is like, it's so new to me for another culture to go to. And, you know, I've been over in South America and up in Canada, but being here, it's just, it feels so fresh. It feels so awesome to be here, and I just, I love traveling, so every single time I can be here, it's just, just traveling in Poland is really just something that I love to do. And I think it's constant learning for me, too. Yeah. Every yeah. time you come here, there's something. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning words, I'm learning about people, like what it's like growing up and, you know, just how the culture is different and stuff, so, it's awesome, I don't know, I love it. The next question, what's your favorite time of the year in Poland? Probably summertime, actually, because where I'm from in the States, summertime means 90 degrees out Fahrenheit and 100% humidity, so just being inside with the AC on. So yeah, you can't really enjoy yourself when you go outside in the summer in the States. You have to go out either at night or early morning, and that kind of sucks. Here in Poland, you can wear a t-shirt and pants comfortably, and you're not going to be sweating just walking outside. Compared to the East Coast in the U.S., Poland is much better here. Okay, the next question. What are the costs of hotel, food, and transport? I think uh, the, the person is asking about Poland in general, compared to maybe U.S. I mean, I would just say generally cheaper than in the States for sure. You know, I, I don't know, it's kind of a complex question and you'd have to ask things more specifically, but in general, it's cheaper. What is the most favorite thing about Polish culture? Yeah, definitely, definitely family oriented. Uh, that's probably my favorite thing because, at least in the States, it feels like family has kind of been a dying term these days and growing up with divorced parents that seems to be pretty much ever true. Will you ever go to Gdynia? That's the next question. Um, I've been to Gdańsk and it is my favorite city in Poland and I would definitely like to go to Gdynia in Sopot as well. So maybe next summer we're gonna do that. Where are you going to spend Christmas this year? Lublin. As simple as that. Yep. Do you know anything about earlier history of Poland? The history of Poland seems to be so complex with um, it getting captured by so many different like neighboring areas. It's it's a complex thing. But short answer Yes. No. <laughs> Honestly, no, not not really. So US history seems to be really easy to learn, but Polish history is so complex that I wouldn't even know really where to start. Another question, do you play any games and what are your favorites? I like to watch people play games on Twitch and I play Halo on PC myself. But for the most part, I don't really have a whole lot of time for games, but I do play a little bit of games when I have some downtime. The next question, you said that you're planning on moving to Poland. Is it more of a permanent move or a long-term visit? Permanent. The next question then, what are some places that you want to visit in Poland? Virginia and Sopa. Uh, and next... also just around like the mountain region, like uh, more than just Sakopaya. I want to go to like other areas around there. Okay, and the next question. Will you make vlogs in Poland? What are your plans for work? Sorry if too personal. Yes, I have been making vlogs in Poland, but not an everyday vlogger though. I like to make quality over quantity, so there's that. Okay, plans for work. I guess that means here in Poland. I would like to start a business here, and I would also like to do some freelance work for editing and filming and things like that. Do you know the Polish most popular sportsman? Lewandowski, but... He's a traitor though. He lives in Germany. He doesn't, he doesn't live in Poland anymore. He's a traitor. Do you 
plan to buy Maluch and to make a tour around Poland. So the so-called poultry. Maluch, Fiat 126. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely love to travel all around Poland and go to really every city that's known. And I would love to see a sports game as well and definitely drink some beers with some locals. I, I totally would. I could probably not keep up past three beers though, but I could try. Okay, so the next question. Do you know why Polish people emigrate to Western Europe? Because it pays higher. <laughs> Cost of living is more, but still you can make more money. What inspired you to check Polish music out? Um, Just to get closer to the culture I guess I could say. Alright guys so thanks for watching that's been the Q&A and I hope you guys enjoy some of the other vlogs that I've made so far here in Poland. So yeah until next time guys thank you for watching. Dziękujemy. Do widzenia.